The following video is a paid promotion. Hello everyone and welcome to World of Warships, a free-to-play naval warfare game on PC. If you'd like to check it out for yourself at any time during this video, there is a link down in the description below. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about World of Warships is the attention to detail. The, the graphics in this game are second to none when it comes to naval warfare games. These, these ships are modeled incredibly accurate all the way down to the rivets in the hull. Like, they are absolutely gorgeous, and it is fun sometimes to just sit in port and look at the detail. But they also partner with companies outside and give you special collaborations like Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, they also have a whole lot of different ports to choose from, so you can choose from historically accurate ports to something a little bit more fantasy, such as the spaceport. There is a lot to choose from to customize your gameplay experience and make it more enjoyable for you. But I know what you're thinking. Spartan, that's all well and good. I'm interested, but I want to see actual gameplay of World of Warships. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring you... The USS Vermont, Tier 10 United States battleship, armed with 12 457mm guns, or 18-inch guns for those of you who are more imperial than the metric system. So, we're on land of fire, we spawn towards the back, and we are going to utilize this ship across the entirety of the map, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. We are actually going to take the Vermont from one side of the map to the other and try to give our team the best chance of winning that we can. Can we pull it off? Only time will tell. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you enjoying World of Warships PC? Have you clicked the link down in the description to download it yourself and check it out? It's free to play, highly recommended. Definitely should go check it out. Now. We're going to push up on this left side initially because I like to win my side, okay? I like to try to control my side of the map and win if I can. It doesn't always work out that way, and uh, sometimes I get myself into trouble. I tend to be a little too aggressive, and when you do that in World of Warships PC, it doesn't end well because everybody can hit you, and uh, the guns are way more accurate on PC, so you've got to be very very aware at all times speaking of being very very aware we have an aircraft carrier making his first appearance overhead so we are going to go ahead and get ready to trigger our defensive alert. AA to allow us to shoot down some of these planes before they absolutely ruin our life because they will but as you can see we're shredding the planes the with the help fire. of our nearby allies now we line up our first shot on the enemy Musashi who's broadside at over 24 kilometers away. That's a long shot to try to lead. But uh, the lead was, was done well, however the enemy does turn away and unfortunately these shells are going to miss short. But uh, that's what happens when you literally have several seconds before the shells get to you. You see them coming and you have all the time in the world to turn away. Now we don't we don't put out the fi the single fire right away because we are expecting to potentially still be put on fire. Uh, but we also realize that we are now at the front while our team is starting to lag behind us. So we turned broadside initially thinking that we would have a, an easy shot at the enemy Napoli, uh, who is a cruiser on this far left flank. And I was thinking, okay, well, we might have a shot here. But uh, unfortunately, that's not what happens. He disappears because he realizes I would shoot him. He is hanging out out there, they take shots at me, and then of course the battleships also take shots at me, and the battleships hurt quite a bit more, as we just proved by losing almost half our hit points real quick. And did we hit him back? Nope, we haven't hit him. We are trying to aim it, can't quite get the shot lined up in time, he goes dark, can't really shoot just yet, we're gonna wait. Okay, now we have another battleship on this far side. Looks like an enemy Kearsarge, which is actually a hybrid battle carrier. It's a battleship carrier hybrid. It is very interesting. I'll give it that. But, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not going in our favor here. We missed him as he started reversing, and he's bringing some more planes to come harass us, which is not ideal. 
these are rocket planes. So uh, he's going to get a, a clean shot at, or clean look at the sh side of our ship, and we are no longer protected by our allies' AA. We do have our defensive fire going. He lights us up with some more rockets. We go ahead and extinguish that fire because we're going to be turning out, we're going to kite away, and we're going to try to double back and see if we can't affect the match elsewhere. Clearly, trying to push up this flank is not going to work in my favor. There's just too much here to counter me. Now, the Vermont is just not a quick battleship. It, it's, it's strength is in its ability to land clean shots over long distance with massive damage dealt with these 457 millimeter guns. Gun crews uh, are on normal the problem alert. is, you got to be able to take advantage of that. You've got to be able to land those shots, and I just don't have the experience on PC to be consistent enough with the guns. Now, I'm pretty decent, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not the worst, as you'll see as we go throughout this game. We're going to be landing some pretty nasty shots later in this match. Speaking of, we've got a nice look at a enemy Schlieffen out here, which is a German battle cruiser. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, he does turn out. I don't think we're going to land much on that shot as he turns away. Those shells are going to continue to miss. And again, that's the problem with playing at such range. You give people the, the time to react. Um, and especially if it's somebody who's going broadside, if your shells aren't exactly where you need them to be at the moment that they make the, the mistake, then you run into the issues of them just turning away and making you miss. So we're going to try to be less obvious for the rest of the match. We're not going to be at the front. We're going to let our team soak up some damage and we're going to try to use these amazing guns from the back line to make people pay. Uh, and Schlieffen doubles back here. I think it's the Schlieffen. Yeah, doubles back here, and this time we do catch him with a couple of hits. But unfortunately, we managed to uh, not do any damage. A couple shells hit, but they didn't do any damage. We either hit armor and shattered. I didn't see exactly what the shells did once they hit them, but I'm going to assume that we shattered or they just didn't pin. Uh, or they pinned something module-wise, a gun or something like that, that didn't do register any damage but considering how far into the game we are remember these are 20 minute matches on pc we're six minutes in and i have 3,000 damage with 12 18 inch guns i have not been carrying my weight in this fight so it's time that we start making up for that we need to start landing some good shots here paying attention to people who are uh, you know taking it themselves and putting themselves into a position where you can actually take advantage of them while they're not necessarily paying attention to you. Uh, Schlieffen is still out there. He's angled away from us, but we go for a superstructure plunging fire hit. There we finally get a good hit, uh, and we actually double our damage output for the match so far in one shot. That's how badly we've done up to this point, but it's okay. Again, the matches are much slower developing on PC. You've got more time to affect the outcome of the match. So even though for the first six minutes we've really done not a whole lot, uh, just a few shots with this thing can completely turn the battle around. You just gotta get a couple of good shots. Now that last shot that we got on that enemy Schlieffen as he was turning towards us is a very good look at a potential hit. And there's our first kill. That's how quickly this ship can turn the tide of a battle. If you just get that one good shot out where you catch somebody not paying attention, you can absolutely ruin them as we score a Citadel hit and we finish them off getting our first kill of the game. Now. From here, you can see the enemy are all contra-rotating. They're going from left to right, and we're going to kind of follow them across the map. Now here, we got a beautiful look at the enemy Musashi, who is absolutely begging for it. I'm not going to lie, I was salivating. He turns in a little bit, and we absolutely smash him, but unfortunately, we weren't able to citadel him. We weren't able to score that amazing critical hit that we were looking for. Uh, but we did hit him really, really hard, and because of that, we're now up over 43,000 damage. So just in the span of a couple of shots, we have completely turned around the uh, the game for ourselves. Like, we have had no luck up to this point, and now all of a sudden we're starting to actually make something happen here. Uh, but you can see I'm checking the different options. I've got a, a look at another enemy Schlieffen. Uh, like the ship that we sank earlier, but he's angled slightly away, and he knows that I'm here, and if he sees me light up when I shoot at him, because I will get detected when I shoot at him, 
he's going to turn away and that's going to limit our damage and you can see right at the end he does turn away we do we do get a nice little hit 8300 damage or so but not enough to really make the difference that we were hoping we, we weren't able to land the big hit and the one thing that the vermont is very very good at is because it has such good concealment for a battleship you're able to move around the map stay unspotted and then potentially catch these people on or off guard now here we have an enemy Iowa on the back side of the island you can see I'm using uh, I'm looking above the island you can see I can see just the beginning of the, the bow of his hull and we take the shot based on that we're a little high here but look at that accuracy folks you love to see it come on get down you can do it get down oh that's beautiful and that's another kill you love to see it Landed a little bit high, but again, it was a, a rush shot over the top of the mountain. That's you just want to land some shells and finish them off, and that's what we were able to do. Now, enemy Napoli is running away. Uh, right behind him, we have the Musashi and the Kearsarge. And so we're, we're lining them up, but they're just outside of our range. We can't quite hit them, and that's one of the downsides of this thing. Despite the Vermont having ridiculous range at over 24 kilometers of range, it's still not quite up there with some of the better battles or bigger like not bigger but the some of the other battleships that you're going to be running into now here we have a uh, enemy i can't tell if it was a destroyer or a submarine i think it's a destroyer i don't think there was any submarines in this yeah that's a destroyer for sure but uh an enemy destroyer coming this direction so we try to sneak a shot around the map or around the island here and we do manage to smack him with a uh a shell for his troubles and we pick up our uh our first medal of the game now here we have an enemy pushing out into the open, so I'm, I'm pretty much salivating, but unfortunately the enemy patrie is going to uh, get away with it for now. We do have an enemy over here on the far side, and so we're going to try to line him up. It's a uh, Marcel. If we can get a good shot here, he's going to have to go in front of this island, so you can see I'm trying to lead him. Look how far we have to lead this ship from our range. Now we, we shoot. He has no choice. He's got to either stop to avoid these or he has to like try to turn towards us to make himself skinny. But uh, because he continues along his straight and narrow path, we're going to punch him right in the mouth and take the majority of his health. He drops below half his hit points there and we scored a citadel on him. And that takes us up to 80,000 damage done. But uh, as always, every time we get lit up, the enemy does shoot at us because we are the ones shadowing them across the map. And we are a very dangerous ship, they know it, so they cannot uh, let us go. Now here you can see, I see he's about to eat Torps, he's going to die for sure. So we're going to try to uh, focus back on the enemy Patri that we saw coming from the right. And potentially shoot at the Napoli, or the Schlieffen, or the Conda. There's a, there's a lot of options over here. So that's one of the reasons that we had to pay attention and come back and defend this side as best we could, because it keeps us in the fight. So here you can see we have the Schlieffen just begging for it. I'm not going to lie, I was feeling pretty good about this shot. He is not going to see this coming in time, but unfortunately he does, and he slows down, and that's going to cause us to miss. Now we do manage to dodge all but one torpedo from the enemy destroyer. I did not realize that destroyer was going to be able to torp me from that spot, like for real. He got a set of torpedoes off right before he uh, he managed to die uh, or slip away. He didn't die, sorry. He slipped away, but he got the torpedoes away and it caught me off guard. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to keep pushing forward. We've got a beautiful look at the, the put three, but he's turned away. We're not going to get a shot there. The Napoli is our next option. We're like, okay, he's what, 11 kilometers away at this point. He's a pretty good looking, but here the Schlieffen is begging for it. We don't need to lead him as much this time, so uh, we get a much better look, and we absolutely smash him, taking us up to 118,000 damage done with five full penetrations. Absolutely crushed him in that shot. He does go dark, however, and we are still lit up. We're trying to help our teammates on this right side, but... We're running out of time. The uh, the game the enemy team is winning on points, and unless we can get a couple of kills to bring the points back to our team, we're going to end up losing this fight. But just as we say that, one of the enemies does die, and that gives our team 
right there in the in the neighborhood 650 to 690 points so we're, we're still in a potential win situation we catch the sleaf and once again going in front of the island we're gonna go ahead and lead that shot he can't really dodge here he can turn away slightly try to get angled but we still have a pretty good look at him and uh, there we do absolutely smack him again getting three full penetrations he turned away just enough to avoid the majority of our shells but that takes us up to 127,000 damage and unfortunately he's going to get turned away because we're not able to catch up to him in time the patri out there he takes a shot at us uh, from long range you can see the destroyer still dropping torps trying to hit us over here so we've got to keep an eye out for that guy but we've also got to try to find somebody to finish here and we're just struggling we're struggling to find anybody who's leaving themselves open and that's when we see the azuma and I'm not going to lie to you folks, I was feeling pretty good about this. I know the Azuma pretty well, so I know these 18-inch guns could absolutely wreck this man. So we try to lead him as best we can. We take the shot just before it gets to the point where we can't shoot around the island. They look very, very good. He doesn't have a lot of health. That should be an easy number three kill. And we got another Citadel. Bringing our Citadels up to three for the game to match our three kills that we've got. But the Schlieffen realizes that he needs to survive at this point. He cannot win a fight against me, the destroyer, and the cruiser that is on this side by himself. He needs to run. And unfortunately, our destroyer is going to allow this guy to get away. Our destroyer needs to be able to spot. And our destroyer needs to get into that cap and deny the enemy some points. Either way, he needs to do something differently here. I cannot get to that cap in time. It's going to take time. Time that we don't really have. We have less than five minutes less left in this match. We're at 140,000 damage done. We've, been, we've turned our match around. We've gone from being basically useless for our team to being one of the top players on the team. But right there you can see the, the Schlieffen goes dark. So that ends any chance that I have of potentially taking him out. Our destroyer is kind of just sitting in place terrified of the Schlieffen, which I understand because if he gets spotted, the Schlieffen's secondaries can rip him apart. He doesn't have any health. The carrier is still an issue, potentially. Uh, and by carrier, I mean I'm pretty sure the Kearsarge is still out there. So the Kearsarge is still a potential issue for him with his rocket planes. He could easily kill our destroyer. But we've got to look at the, the enemy Patri here, and once again, you can see he's just turning away. Uh, trying to hit somebody who's actively avoiding at these kind of ranges is pretty much impossible. It's very difficult to land any meaningful hits at these kind of ranges. And the enemy is actually going to give us a chance to win this match, believe it or not. Despite the Schlieffen doing the right thing and running, the enemy is actually going to give us a chance. And the, the one that's going to give us a chance, I actually lied, the, the Kearsarge apparently did die. It is just the Musashi, the Patri, and the Schlieffen with the Conda and the, uh, the Destroyer that's out there. And you can see where the Destroyer's at, so he's not a threat to us at 25 kilometers away or so. Uh, 23 kilometers away. But the enemy Musashi is actually right here. Now, I take a shot at the Conda because I thought maybe catching him on the backside of the island, I could catch him off guard. And we almost pulled it off. Didn't quite aim it properly, but we almost pulled that off. However, watch what I do next. I do not realize how close this Musashi is. And look at him on the map. The Musashi is actually going to be completely broadside to us. And we take a shot at a guy that's 22 kilometers away rather than holding our shot for the guy who's literally right here on the other side of the island from us who's going to be broadside on and could have been an easy kill for me. Like, this guy is begging for it. This is the easiest kill of my life. Meanwhile, I'm shooting at a guy who's going to slow down and avoid most of the damage. Yet, this guy is just sitting here broadside to me at literally like nine kilometers this is point blank there's nothing he can do about this this should have been an easy kill for me had i not shot the the patri i would have easily killed the musashi however the long reload time of the vermont keeps me from being able to get the shot that i want and uh he's gonna get behind the island we do get a shot over the island and we punch him pretty good but not as hard as i would have liked we didn't get the citadels that we should have gotten against him and then we make another mistake and we damage con a single fire and by damage conning that fire, that's going to set up the end of my game. 
Uh, the enemy is very close to winning here. They only need to get to a thousand points, but we are denying them some points. And if this Musashi gives himself up, you can see I'm already trying to turn. I know that there's a good chance that I'm going to die here. Musashi and I could potentially trade, but we got to try to get a shot. And as he goes dark, we take the shot. We know right where he's at. We hit him pretty good there with the front guns. We get the rear guns in there as well, and uh, we hit him again, but unfortunately not able to do enough. Meanwhile, he punches us right back, and between uh, him spotting us and the Conda shooting us from a, a long range, Conda gets the perma fire, and that's going to seal me for fire. death. Like, there's no way I survived this at this point. Uh, but we did manage to get into the base, help get the base capped. At the end of the day, it's not going to be enough. They're, they're flipping the A cap. They already have the B cap. They're at 988 points. They only need 1,000 to win. I was hoping that I could maybe get another shot at the enemy Musashi, but unfortunately, that's just not how this is going to end. Uh, we do get one last shot, however, right at the enemy Patri as we're about to die. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't matter because as soon as we die, the enemy has enough points to win the match. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. These, this was a really fun video to make. Thank you to uh, Wargaming for sponsoring a video. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the, the link in the description if you guys want to download the game for yourselves. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the game. It really is a fun game and it's a beautiful game as well. 183,000 damage though. We managed with three kills. We get the Naval War Warfare Weapons Specialist Badge. And we end up second on our team overall after starting six minutes into the match without any real damage to show for it so let me know what you guys think and if you like what i'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video